just got done rototilling and watering down the dirt, try to make it a little more level and compact. Going to work on that a little bit more tomorrow. Um, but tomorrow I'll be prepping the soil and planting grass seed. Try to get a nice little lawn like that in here. I'm going to spread the topsoil over top of this and then I'm going to rototill it and mix it in a little bit so it's uh, quite mixed together. Got my topsoil spread out a little bit, gonna crack it open and then I got three bags of that. It's gonna kind of fill in the rest of the holes. Bags opened. Uh, now time to spread them out and then rototill. Topsoil, star patterns. Um, I'm gonna rototill it. And mix it. Kind of tilled in. I got those three bags right there. I'm gonna spread it around a little more. Uh, but right now it's pretty level. Nothing too much to worry about. Over there's a little low spot and over here's a little spot. But we're doing pretty well. Rotate right. this in and level out a little more. Got a lot over there, but those spots aren't bad. But alright. Start it up again. I'm going to use a simple little rake to uh, go ahead and spread out the soil, level it out a little more. It's leveled out, I'm happy with. Little spots here and there, but not bad. Alright, so one thing is, the soil is relatively soft, it's not bad. And 250, it's thinking about an inch and a half, but I'm going to go ahead and spray her down. And uh, go ahead and let it sit for a little bit so it compacts by itself. Uh, I didn't spray this down with any chemicals. I don't, I don't believe in that. I have kids. Um, so I'm not going to use chemicals as uh, much as I possibly can. Just finished watering. Uh, and then I'm going to let it dry for about 15 minutes, aerate it, and then make the lines for the grass seed. I'm right. uh, going to put holes every three inches for the seeds to fall into. <laughs> On the edges, guys. Try to be careful not to get the grass seed on the outside of the little line that you want to do. Double up and everything, and then we're going to pull back and we're going to go ahead and get the rest of the seed everywhere else. We're going to put this whole bag of grass seed around this whole thing. All right. Got a decent amount of everywhere. Bag was enough to cover this. Now I'm going to rake it and actually mix it in with the soil a little bit. So again, the birds don't get to it. It's down the holes, but then I'm gonna rake it afterwards to actually try to get into the soil. And then we're gonna continue with watering. You can see this grass seed, but now it's actually deeper into the soil. Less chance of the birds taking it. Um, all right, we're gonna water for Anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes. See how much you get soaked. Every, area's, every area is different. We are very dry here where I live. Uh, it's about 96 degrees right now. It's nice in the shade. It's probably 80s. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and water it. And uh, I'll show you guys progress on this week by week. It's going to take six to eight weeks to even show any real um, grass growth hopefully sooner than that, and probably about eight to 10 weeks before I can even mow it. Right. On day five, just got finishing water in that side. I already have grass growth. Just found a couple areas. I had some red ants over here in this area, snatching all my seeds, so I might have to reseed that area. But, all right, gonna water it on, and I'll exactly update seven days. Uh, got grass growth pretty much everywhere. I have a sunflower growing over there. I'm going to pick that up and move it. Um, but, doing well. Might have to replant a couple areas over there. Might have to replace a decent amount of it because of the uh, red ants I had and I killed them. But, they did snatch a decent amount of seeds because when you walk over there, you can see there's no real growth over there. But, anyways, uh, doing well. Nine days. Got a decent amount of seed growth pretty much everywhere. Um, but I'm going to reseed right now and fix uh, right here. I have a low spot. Everything puddles out. Uh, but 
What also why I want to reseed is over here. My dog dug right here, and it made everything over here slide over. So I'm going to reseed this whole entire area. Um, again, I have a decent amount of weeds, but I'm going to wait for a little bit, and then I'm going to go ahead and pull all the actual uh, weeds. It's a little labor intensive, but again, I have kids, and I do not want to put chemicals down. I'll put a whole bunch of grass seed. I'll rub it, rake it in a little bit. Uh, I have to go to work right now, but uh, water in it. Got a couple pools of water, but overall, it's all right. Um, red ants are just snatching the seeds. They're snatching it as I was uh, putting it down, which is kind of hilarious. But anyways, uh, here we go. Reseeded pretty much a large percentage of it. So hopefully I will have a decent yard in six to eight weeks. Um, if I didn't reseed it, you would have patches that would take a year or two to actually establish a full yard. I didn't rake it in, just put it on top. It's not bad. I mean, you're going to lose a decent amount already. I just look in the fill in a couple patches that are missing. So I guess, um, again, this is nine days. So, and another good, good grass growth. Got weeds too, just got to pull them. Um, but I want to show you guys something over here. That's why I poked the holes in. Uh, you pretty much can see where actually I poked the holes. This grass seed falls into the holes. Um, see a little better over here. Where when you poke the holes, the seeds fall in those holes. And now you have separated grass growing and into week three and get a decent amount of weeds but again not a big deal at all just literally oh wow that was hard uh, pull the weeds but uh, we have a whole bunch more to do it's all right i'll get my kids and me and my wife and we'll come out here and make this an adventure when we can walk on it but overall doing very well um got some patches here and there and that was from using the sprinklers um that was a bad choice I'll do hand watering next time, but you can see where the actual holes come into play, where it actually all grows in these uh, certain sections. Um, got a decent amount of weeds over there. I never pulled the sunflower, which yeah, it's not bad, but I'll cut it down eventually. It just looks nice right now. We got crabgrass, got a whole bunch of weeds and flowers around the apple tree right there, but getting down, planting a little bit more grass seed, push it in, and soak it in right out the water. Um, just for these big giant gaps. I don't know what happened, but I think it's literally just the sprinklers. But I guess, uh, again, we are only in three, week three, so we have a whole bunch more coming up everywhere. Which, you know, got a lot of uh, weeds, but like I said, I have no problem pulling them. I didn't poison the ground. Uh, got a couple bear marks, this biggest one right there. There's some growing up in there. And actually you see, it just takes a little longer and the seeds got down deep. But you can see those little marks where <clears throat> were actually uh, punched holes. I guess I didn't punch very big of holes or gaps there, but you can actually see where punching the holes does actually matter. It's looking pretty good. Pulled a lot of weeds. Decent amount of weeds right there in that pile. Over here, got a decent pile. And then over here, got a decent pile of weeds. Um, but looks pretty good, got a lot of gaps. So I did reseed after I pulled all the weeds. Kind of unnecessary, but it seemed to make a quicker, thicker lawn. I do plan on mowing today. Let it dry up a little bit and then I'm gonna mow. Um, overall looking very good. I can't wait for next year. Uh, this year we will have a, you know, a decent amount of grass and everything. Uh, take this fence down here soon with the animals and kids go play in it, but give it a two, three weeks before I do something like that, but it's looking great. A lot of uh, cheek grass and clovers, so it's going to take a lot of work, but what's willing to get it done, done it naturally, other than the grass seed that has a coating, uh, but other than that, it looks great, guys. Um, going to rip all that up. A lot of clovers and other weeds that popped up in there small bit of flowers 
but I'm just gonna rip that all up. Do it again or just throw some bark down. But anyways, looking good. A lot of uh, a lot of stuff in there, but like I said, not not hard to do. The grass will win, anyways. Push stuff up where it makes it relatively easy to pull up. But uh, doing great, right guys. Right here for uh, the seventh week. I just cut the grass at the highest setting. Uh, if you do cut your grass, cut the highest setting. Always cut your grass at the highest setting. Helps you manage water and less, use less water. Uh, right now we're still doing the watering two and three days on really hot days. Um, right now we're doing quite well. Got a lot of weeds up there, but it's fine. Uh, just got back camping, it's quite tired right now. But we've got bare spots over here, which will fill in very easily, very quickly. Biggest bare spots over there and over there, but looking great right now. I just need to pull some more weeds. Kind of want to get out there and do it right now, but I'm pretty tired. But so we have a product to get the kids and everyone else out to help a little bit. Uh, uh, we are in week eight. Uh, need to mow. Got a lot of weeds, but it's perfectly fine. Very easy to pull out. Looking great. Cleaned up that a little bit. Still got to pull a lot of that. A lot of flowers popped up, so uh, kind of leaving it. Doesn't really see it at all or not. Um, my phone crashed, so I didn't get to do the other videos. But uh, we have a couple more weeks until this is fully flushed and cleaned up because you have to pull all these weeds, which take a lot, but it's better than using chemicals. All right, guys. Uh, here's the lawn. Got a lot of weeds. No problem, though. It's going to take literally uh, about 10 weeks to get this stuff in total to get this stuff actually going and doing rather well. Over here, we got the grass pretty strong. You can see how the weeds are trying to reach up and can't really find any sunlight. So what you do is you keep growing the grass longer. But then when you pull it out, you go and hook it around the bottom. And just pull it straight up. You gotta have the soil nice and moist. Alright, so then... Uh, see how this one again is struggling? It's just when the grass starts winning, it's really easy to start pulling the stuff out, guys. Um, you got a couple weird little weeds that are ground covers that... But once the... Once the actual grass starts uh, winning in the situation, and the plants start actually struggling to actually produce more and more actual, uh, see this one's pretty long, actual leaves, um, it's time to start pulling when the when actually everything starts when everything starts actually losing against the grass. Um, so like this one's a perfect example. The grass is nice and thick, but this one's just down there and deep. Yeah, go and just stick it down there and pull it on up, guys. I mean, this is pretty simple. It's just a little bit of a labor intensive. So you hook it, twist it, and pull straight up. But it's better than actually having uh, poison on your grass. You can have kids, and then something I just saw the other day about the poisons that are out here are known to actually cause diseases and there's a huge lawsuit. So this is just a labor intensive uh, process. But I haven't had time to pull them. Uh, but looking very decent. Uh, gonna clear up the edges later when I got time. Uh, I don't have that much time on my hands but that's why there's a lot of weeds. But overall grass is looking great. Going to fertilize here soon. Um, love the flowers in this but a lot of weeds in there, so probably just gonna destroy in this. But a lot of flowers right now, so it's probably gonna stay around for a little longer. But anyways, uh, looking great. Got a couple holes, you know, like this, which is fine because you know it, there's grass growth and it'll fill in. Next year will look great. But right now this is week 12. Probably fertilize here soon. Do a winter guard fertilizer because it is almost the end of uh, September so going to October uh, a little weed protection in there but right, guys uh, show you how far we've gone so far right. added some winter guard with weed control help it with the weeds pull a lot of them looks pretty good right now though got a couple of spare, so bare spots in this area over here looks great over here looks great uh, just basically this area right here, um, which we'll get to next year. 
Um, hopefully the roots will take over this year and get everything done. Uh, a lot of gaps, but again, new grass. Not bad. Didn't use Roundup. Here we go. Here's the uh, last video of this series. I uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. I will be doing later, uh, possibly sometime this year, probably early next spring. Uh, clearing these lines up, get a nice border around this, walk path and all that fun stuff. Well, right now this video series is done. Thank you for watching again.